Welcome back. So in the last lecture, we showed that you can solve linear systems of equation ax equal to b even when the A matrix is not square. So in this underdetermined or overdetermined case where you have either infinitely many solutions or no exact solutions, you can still find kind of an optimal x using this Moore-Penrose pseudo-inverse, which is based on the singular value decomposition. Now, in the underdetermined case where there are infinitely many solutions, we, this is actually a solution. If you multiply A by this x tilde, you actually get B, and this is the minimum two norm x that satisfies this equation. But in the overdetermined case, there are no exact solutions, and this will only approximately multiply by A to equal B. So I wanted to walk you through what that looks like and kind of show you uh, where the error crops up in the, in the overdetermined case of this least square solution, where we don't expect to find an exact solution of our equations. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this expression for x tilde and we're going to plug it back into ax equals b. So we're going to take um, ax and we're going to ax tilde. Now a is equal to u sigma v transpose, and x tilde is v sigma inverse u transpose b, okay? Now, it looks like this might actually all cancel out because, you know, there's a lot of v, v transposes and sigmas. This is definitely the identity. Sigma, sigma inverse is also the identity. But here's where we get stuck. U times U transpose, at least if we're using the economy SVD, where these are, are kind of uh, just the first few M columns or a truncated SVD, where these are the first few columns of U, then in that case, U, U transpose is not the identity matrix. Uh, and it might not even be that close to the identity matrix. So this equals U, U transpose B. And I'm going to be very explicit. I'm going to re-add my hats here. This is the economy SVD or a truncated SVD. And so these are hat quantities. This U, U transpose is not the identity. If it was, then this would equal B. But because this is not the identity, this does not equal B. And that's why this is not exactly solved. OK, so here's where it gets interesting. U, U transpose B is the projection, this is the projection of B onto the subspace spanned by the columns of U, onto essentially the span of the columns of U. Now these columns of U also span the matrix A, so this is equal to the span of the columns of the matrix A. And this makes a lot of sense because if I'm going to have, if I'm going to find an x that solves a system of equations, ax equals b, the only way I can do that is if b is in the column space of a, if it's in the span of the column space of a. Because basically all that I can do when I multiply a times a vector x is I take linear combinations of the columns of a. That's what a times x does. So this first element of x is times that first column of a, the second element of x gets multiplied by the second column of a, and so on, and those all get added up, and we're trying to find some combination that equals b. So this B will only have a solution X if B lives in the span of the columns of A. Okay, makes sense. And here, if I, unless I pick a really bad A, this will actually be over complete and the columns will, like th there's, there's more than enough columns in A to span all of our N. And so it's, high, it's highly likely that B will be in that span of A in this underdetermined case. Now, that's not true in this overdetermined case. Unless B is specifically chosen to be in the column space of A, which it might be, I might choose B to be a linear combination of A, in which case there would be an exact solution. But if I just pick a random B, it'll almost certainly have some component that is not spanned by the vectors in A. And so the best we can possibly do, the best least squared solution x tilde is taking B and projecting it onto the column space of A. Because that's the best I'm ever going to do with AX in approximating B, is approximating the component of B that's spanned by the columns of A. 
And that's exactly what this is saying. So all of the error crops up because this is an orthogonal projection of B onto the columns of, of, of U, my singular vectors, which are also the same as spanning the columns of A, uh, of the data matrix. Okay, so I think that's a pretty interesting uh, interpretation of this pseudo inverse and understanding how error crops up. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you a little bit more mathematically exactly what the conditions are where these matrices do and do not have solutions, um, just, just for completeness because I think it'll be useful. All right, thank you.